Welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be taking a closer look at the ATN Xsight 4K Buck Hunter 5-20. This ATN Buck Hunter edition differs from the Xsight 4K Pro in that it lacks night vision capability. Other than that, this Buck Hunter does come with all the same features found on the 4K Pro model. I already have an Xsight 2 5-20 and this model does incorporate night vision capability. But to tell you the truth, I use the night vision feature less than 50% of the time. I really like the photo and video features these ATN optics offer, but rather than purchase the 4K Pro, I decided to hold off until this Buck Hunter edition was released. This 4K Buck Hunter retails for $100 less than the 4K Pro. If night vision capability isn't something you've just got to have, pocket that extra $100 and just go with this model. Unlike the 4K Pro, this Buck Hunter does not come with any 30mm scope mounts. What you do get is a scope cover, a sunshade, an extended rubber eyepiece, and a USB charging cable. Most commercially available cantilever scope mounts aren't wide enough between the rings to accommodate this optic, and since I plan to use this scope on several different rifles, buying ATN's quick disconnect mount made the most sense. Before using this optic, you'll need to head over to ATN's website and download any firmware updates. Once registered, they'll send you an email notice whenever new firmware versions are released. By the way, the older ATN Obsidian app won't work with these newer 4K models, so be sure you're downloading the new Obsidian 4 app. This app will allow you to control the scope's internal menu functions remotely using your smartphone or tablet. I found it to be a lot easier to use than peering through the scope while using the built-in keypad. The Obsidian 4 software will allow you to live stream whatever the Buck Hunter is seeing in real time to your smartphone or tablet. Any videos or photos you decide to capture will be automatically stored in the gallery file on your device. A copy of those files will also be stored on the micro SD card located next to the scope's USB port. You will of course have to purchase the micro SD card separately. Since this Buck Hunter is capable of recording 1080p HD video at up to 120 frames a second, I highly recommend using a Class 10 U3 rated SD card with at least 64 gigabytes of storage. As far as battery life goes, ATN has made some improvements over previous models. Going back to what I said in my Excite 2 review, I said that it ate batteries faster than a circus elephant eats peanuts. To get any real extended use, the Xsight 2 had to have an external battery supply. These newer 4K models can run up to 18 hours without adding an external battery supply. An accessory that's available for these 4K models is an auxiliary ballistic laser or ABL rangefinder. It uses Bluetooth technology to pair the rangefinder to the scope. Once paired, it works in conjunction with the onboard ballistic calculator to determine the target's exact range out to a thousand yards. I haven't got my hands on one yet, but it sounds interesting. From a user's standpoint, one of the most obvious improvements over ATN's older models is a better viewfinder or diopter display on these 4K models. A new upgraded sensor projects a much larger and clearer 1280 by 720 diopter image which is noticeably easier to see than the one on this Xsight 2.
This X-Sight works similar to a digital camcorder or DSLR. And like those type of cameras, this optic does require a learning curve to get the most out of it. If you have a bit of smartphone or digital camera experience, you'll be able to figure out the onboard menus pretty quickly. To sum all of this up, these ATN optics are cutting edge technology that do require a bit of a learning curve to get the most out of them. But an optic loaded with all the features these 4K models come with, selling for under $700, actually does make them an excellent value. As a postscript to this video, I did make a couple of simple upgrades to this 4K Buck Hunter. Since this is as good a spot as any, I'll include that clip here. After originally shooting this video, I decided to make a couple of modifications to this ATN 4K Buck Hunter, which should work just as well in the 4K Pro model. To add extra protection and keep dirt and debris from actually settling on the actual scope lens on this buck hunter, I installed a standard 62mm UV aftermarket lens in the sunshade. Since the sunshade isn't threaded on this end, I press fit the 62mm UV lens into place by using a flat surface and a bit of downward pressure. It seated firmly without much difficulty. Next I installed this 64mm pop-up lens cover to add additional protection from the elements when in the field, and which will also keep out dust and grime when the scope isn't in use. This optic didn't come with these items, but I felt that it could certainly benefit from having them installed. Anyway, I found these modifications to be worthwhile for keeping the scope's lens clean and well protected. Well, that pretty much winds up my thoughts on this 4K Buck Hunter. So until next time, practice often, shoot straight, and thanks for stopping by.